Hello people, Mongoose again, and it's time for another Retro Game Bargain Hunt video, and this like time of year that it is, a lot of eBay sellers have been claiming like the post has been delayed, and this has been delayed, and that's been delayed, so I was a bit disappointed that some things haven't arrived, but hey ho, I picked up some bargains anyway. Um, yeah, Duke Nukem, Time to Kill on original PlayStation, uh, this was £2.50, including delivery. Now, what can I say about Duke Nukem? I love Duke Nukem. The, the original one blew me mind just with you know the insane weapons and um, the enemies, uh, not to mention the insane humour that went on in it. Absolutely loved that game and the one line as it came out uh, came out with still make us laugh today. So a real character in, in game in Duke Nukem and you can say what you want about the last game and stuff but on PlayStation I think he was flawless. Now upon investigation I realised this game is actually a third person shooter, not a first person shooter. So I don't know what to make of that, I'm sure it's still really good. It's made by 3D Realms who made the original Duke Nukem. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be really really good and full of that same you know, humour that I loved in the original Duke Nukem game. So yeah £2.50 free delivery off eBay. The only thing that arrived off eBay. Bloody eBay. Right, um, I'm going to be careful how I pronounce this. Nagano Winter Olympics 1998. Um, this was 50 pence from St Oswald's Hospice. And you might just think this is some generic um, tie in with the Winter Olympics of 1998. And you'd be right, that's exactly what it is. But it's made by Konami. So for that reason, I was really glad to pick it up. I'm sure it's going to be a fun game and, you know, have really tight responsive controls. And yeah, it's got all the events that you expect to see in the Winter Olympics. It's got, yeah, um, skiing, like downhill skiing, slalom, um, speed skiing and snowboarding and all of that malarkey. So I'm sure it's going to be loads of fun to play. So 50 pence, I was definitely picking it up. That's completing box as well. So happy days. <coughs> now... Recently in charity shops, I'm having this issue where I'm going in and I'm picking up, I'm like, you know, looking at games and it'll be PlayStation 2 title, Xbox title and loads of DVDs or something. And then obviously I always ask, make sure guys use always ask as well, right? Because if you don't ask, you know, you could miss something or they could be just about to put something on a shelf or anything like that. You never know, right? So I was just about to walk out the, walk out the shop. I'd seen nothing like, like a Pro Evolution game or something as usual. And then I thought, light bulb, I've got to go and ask. So I went and asked, and the point it is to the board games and kids' books, right? Now, bear in mind, this is what I found. Simpsons Road Rage on Game Boy Advance. Now, this is complete in box, and it was there with a Bratz game that was complete in box as well. Um, obviously, I didn't pick the Bratz game up because I'm not into playing with dolls and stuff. Well, anymore. Anyway, right, so, yeah, Game Boy Advance... Simpsons Road Rage just was £3 and it's complete in box and I don't really see these that much, you know. Um, I do find the loose carts, like, quite a bit, but not complete in box with instructions and everything. That was awesome for £3. Um, however, I was a little disappointed upon going to pay for it because the woman told us the day before, like, a pretty sizable stack of these, you know, box Game Boy Advance games had been, like, put out. Obviously, somebody's collection at some point and, yeah, loads of them have been taken snapped up I suppose. So I managed to get Simpsons Road Rage. Um, I suppose it doesn't bother us that much. I'm not a massive collector for Game Boy Advance although I do love the Game Boy Advance system and yeah it is fun to collect for but I don't religiously collect for it. So to get a box game of it for £3 I was happy enough with that. Simpsons Road Rage, happy days Game Boy Advance. Now like I mentioned in my last video people um, on Twitter now so what I'm going to do is, you know, upload photos and stuff of other things that I managed to pick up, like the higher end stuff, rather than, you know, just these bargain videos. Because I think it's very easy for us to go out and spend 40 50 60 pound on a Nintendo car just to add to my collection. But I think the real, you know, fun and challenge is, um, you know, seeking out these games for as cheap a price as possible or finding them in a charity shop or a boot sale for next to now. It's getting very hard to do that nowadays, but it still can be done and, you know, I, like, strive to do that. So that's what these videos are about. But if you would be kind enough to follow us on Twitter, I'll put, like, you know, our pictures and games that I'm playing and just, you know, loads of our random gaming stuff. So, yeah, it's at Mongoose on a uni, but I'll put the link in the description anyway. But I think that's it. I'm done for now, and I'll be back with another video soon. And I'd just like to thank you all for watching. Leave his like I always do, and just say thanks for watching, people. Please subscribe.